Now we're going to work on undoing that distributive property. So in order to undo, we need to know about factors. And factors are items that are multiplied together. So the factors are 12. Items that are multiplied together to make 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So those six numbers are the factors of 12. The factors of 20 are 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. So again, there are six factors that make 20. And factors of 45, 1 and 45, 3 and 15, 5 and 9. It looks like those 45 has six factors as well. So factors are things that are multiplied. Now we were working on finding the greatest common factor when we worked on fractions. We needed that in order to reduce. When I look at 20 and 24, I want to find numbers that both go into 20 and 24, but the largest number. 2 goes into both 20 and 24, but it's fairly small. So looking at the list here of 20 and then thinking of 24 being 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 6 and 4, the largest one that goes into both 20 and 24 would not be 2. It looks like 4 goes into both 20 and 24. So again, we want the largest. Now think of variables just as a number. If I look at question number 2, I first looked at the 3 and the 15. They share a 3. 3 divides into 3 and 3 divides into 15. x squared is in common with the 3x squared and to the 15. So I need both x's because it has two x squareds in common. They are being multiplied. With the 4x and the 20, I know 4 divides into 20 and a 4. But notice there is no x in the greatest common factor because 20 does not have an x. And in the last one, the only number that's in common would be 2. 2 divides into 2, 2 divides into 6, and 2 divides into 4. Notice there are no x's that come along. 2x squared and x each share an x, but there's one missing. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be undistributing, and it's called factoring. I'm going to be looking for two things that are multiplied together that will give me 5x plus 45. So I see in 5x and 45, they have a greatest common factor of 5. So I'm going to pull that 5 out. 5 times what is 5x? Well, that would be x. 5 times what number is 45? That would be 9. To check myself, I would distribute 5x plus 45. So this is what it looks like factored. So factored is this undistribute idea. If we look at question number two, looks like they both share a negative, the negative 3x and the negative 27, and they share a 3. So what times negative 3 is negative 3x? Well, that would be an x. What times negative 3 is 27? That would be a positive 9. Question number three, 9y and 18, they both share a 9 y minus 2. When I redistribute, 9y minus 18. So that checks my factoring. Now in question number 5, I have three terms. We actually call this a trinomial. Looks like all three share a 3, but they do not share an x because there's not an x with a 9. So this would be x squared minus 2x plus 3. Redistributing to check my answer, 3x squared redistribute negative 6x and distribute to the last term and you get 9. Notice it checks, so this is what it looks like in factored form. We are breaking these down using multiplication. So in the second one, number 6, which is a, the second trinomial, tri means 3, they share a common factor of a 2. 2 times x squared is 2x squared, 2 times 4x is 8x, and 2 times 5 is 10. And in the last one, there's no value they share, but there is a variable that they all share, and they all share an x. What times x is x cubed? Well, I need 2 because the 2 and the 1 will make a 3. 8x because the 1 and the 1 will match up this x squared. And if I take the x totally from the 10, x, you're left with a 10. Again, I can check by redistributing x cubed plus 8x squared. Notice the 1 and the 1 make me a 2. 
and x times 10 is 10x. So the factor and the FOIL are basically undoing or opposites or inverse operators of each other.